Hi, this is Tammy C. Walker, life coach, therapist, social worker, www.dreamsarereality.com. That is my website. And subscribe, hit the like button for me, and let's go. Today I want to talk about more relationship stuff. Today is, is my ex gone forever? Now when we say forever, that's a mighty long time. Forever, ever, ever, ever? I mean, that's a long time. One last forever. So to think that way, it's a bit um, kind of like far-fetched almost. Not that people don't break up and don't get back together, but if it was a good chemistry, if you had great times together, things do happen where people drift apart, but they can come back together. So I don't want you to freak out or panic or think this is it. Um, one never knows what the future holds. So I want you to stay positive throughout your breakup. So let's get started. Number one, forever is a long time. So what lasts forever? You, if you really think about that, that will give you great comfort in knowing that it's a pretty high chance that you are going to talk to your ex. Um, there's a lot of factors involved in this, but we're going, today this video is more or less about people that were in the healthier relationships. If you were in a toxic relationship, abuse, a lot of cheating, is that someone you want? Or if you were the one doing all those things, perhaps this is a time for you to get real and dirty with yourself and come clean by getting help or support. So this is more or less for healthier relationships. I shouldn't even say that because it could be some toxic relationships. But again, these you will have to get help, you or either your partner. So it's always hope. Either way, to be honest with you, it really is. But it's how much does the per do the person want to change? Number two, be truthful. Kind of going back to what I just said, if it was a bad relationship where you were abusive, you were cheating, you were um, belittling your partner, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, whatever. If you um, were insecure, doing that stalker stuff, calling, calling, calling where you can't stop calling, texting, God forbid, damaging property. These are things um, people don't like that, you all. They don't like that at all. And they will run from you. So if you are guilty of it, just stop it now and get help. Seriously, if you're calling somebody 50, 60, 70 times, that is a no-go. If you're damaging their property, if you are stalking, popping up at work, these are bad things. And it's no nice way to say it. You need help. And it's okay. It's not okay. It's really not okay. But it's going to be okay. And it really is going to be okay if you solicit help. You don't have to tell anybody you did that. Matter of fact, don't tell anybody you did that. Um, but get help because... Sometimes people have these behaviors because they don't know how to stop them. They need support and it's okay. It's okay. But get the help you need. Don't do that. Um, and if the person did you that way, is that someone you want back? So is my ex gone forever? Or if somebody was abusive or stalking you or calling you 45 times a day, that's not healthy. And they may be gone forever and you better thank your lucky stars. So again, if you're the one doing the bad behavior, get the help. If someone did that to you, you might want to consider yourself lucky. If you do want it to work and they are exhibiting those type of behaviors, if they are serious about getting help, then that is somebody that you can reconcile with. Once you've seen that they have gotten help, you see it's a consistent help or therapy that they're going to, you'll know, you'll know the difference, trust me. Okay, that's number two. Number three, work on yourself. What can you do for yourself? Can you begin an exercise regimen? Can you get a new haircut? Can you change your hair color a little? Get some spring clothes. It's springtime. Don't go into debt. But these are things you can do to work on yourself. Take a class. Maybe take a nice trip. Go to a resort and just sort out, you know, what has transpired over the last week or two or months. But work on yourself. It's going to be okay. 
Number four, again, like kind of what I just said, but more deeper. Reflect. What did I do wrong in this relationship? Did I cheat on my partner? Did I call them 45 times? Did I possibly almost cause them to lose their job because I kept popping up there? Or was I insecure? Was I jealous? Or was I ungrateful? Did I say, thank you so much, honey. I love you. Thank you for buying me that. Thank you for fixing dinner. Thank you for putting together that bookcase. You know, sometimes thank you and praise can go a long way with our partners. They just want to feel appreciated. I know my niece, she's a mother of three, and I see how she's, you know, running around with those boys. And I'm sure, you know, when her husband says, thank you, baby, I've heard him say, that food was really good. I know that makes her feel good. So I'm sure that you all out there, you moms and you um, dads out there, you want to you want to hear that it felt you know, you just want to feel appreciated. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, last but not least, release and allow it to come to you. Now, the it can be he or she, your ex. Of course, that's what we all want, right? Especially if it's a healthy relationship. We want our person back. But it can also be peace of mind. That's powerful. And if it's not your ex, maybe down the road, that new love. So, be like Bruce Lee. Let it flow like water. He said, be like water. Water has no shape. So let it flow. I hope my five tips help. I know how you feel when you've broken up with someone. It's not a good feeling, but there is always hope. And no, your ex is probably not gone forever, but use this time to better yourself. In the event that they it doesn't work out where you all don't get back together, you'll be better for yourself, which will make you better for another person or the return of your ex one never knows the future so it would be boring if we knew the future think about it it would be so boring so a little bit of um, surprise and mystery is what makes us breathe to be honest <laughs> tammy c walker www.dreamsarreality.com subscribe hit like thank you so much for even taking our time to view my video take care of yourself don't worry things are going to Watch, they're gonna work out okay. You're gonna win in the end. Watch, okay. Bye, thank you.